So this is Brian coming to you from Bucharest, Romania. And uh, here, there's a beautiful building. I love these old world buildings, right? Well, look how beautiful that is. And uh, oh, today I want to talk to you about definitiveness, the power of definitiveness to uh, be powerfully attractive in the world. Men that are definitive are literally the most attractive men. And I want to talk to you about the power of being definitive in the world and how you can bring definitiveness to your life. Now, to understand definitiveness, we got to understand what most men that come to me are doing at first. Most men that come to me are being, for lack of a better way, not definitive. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They're being, they're saying try and maybe. Um, let's try this. Maybe this will work. Let's see what happens. There's a sense that they're one foot in and one foot out with every action, whether they're approaching women, working on their money reality, uh, working on their confidence. There's always a sense of try or force the other side of it. So in the try, we're kind of holding back. We're just like, we're like, okay, uh, you know, you're kind of, you're cute. I just wanted to say hi. There's an apology almost on the approach. I'm going to try the approach and see what happens, but they never get a full experience of what a fully embodied approach would be like like if i walked up and said hi i really want to meet you versus hi i just i didn't want to bother you but and there's a sense of that energy and so when we're trying we're not really doing we're kind of half-ass doing and it gets half-ass results it's the nature of life now on the other side of that we've got men that force and when you force you're actually walling off your embodiment shutting out there's no definitiveness in that it's more like I'm going to make it happen, period. And I'm going to, if you know, I have to push through you. And there's a sense of overcompensation. And it's almost too much, right? So in real life or in life, if you really want to get good results, you have to work on being embodied definitive. Now, what does that look like? Definitive men speak in definitive words. So if you think of somebody like Bob Proctor, Let's go do it. This is gonna happen. Uh, faith, consistency. I'm gonna make it happen. Non-definitive men, let's try, maybe. I hope it works, right? I'm gonna go to the gym and try working out again. Definitive men, I'm going to the gym to lift weights today and I'm gonna lift for the whole month consistently. And I'm not gonna try to lift weights. See, trying to lift weights is when you go there, maybe you lift too much weight because, because you don't calibrate, you burn yourself out, you get tired and you quit. A guy that's actually lifting weights will find just the right amount to grow, but not burn himself out. He'll lift consistently and he'll keep showing up and through the decisiveness of consistent action, he makes stuff happen. Definitive men, when they say hi, they say, hi, I really like meeting you. You're really beautiful. Insecure men, nervous men, when they say hi, they say stuff like, hi, um, their voice raises. They kind of pull back with their body language. Nice to meet you. Definitive men, when they look at you, they look at you and they receive you into their hearts. They feel you in your heart and they get an emotional response. Wow, she feels really nice. They take you down to the stomach where definitiveness really happens and they feel their power. We're gonna talk more about that. Insecure men, they block and they don't wanna feel you in the heart. So they're like, hi, um, just don't wanna bother you because they don't wanna feel rejected. And it's in the heart that we can be rejected. We can feel the pain of rejection. Definitive men aren't afraid of rejection. Matter of fact, the more they go out and get rejected, the more they grow, the more they learn from the rejection. And they grow and they process and they change. So I wanna invite you into this world of developing definitiveness if you don't have it already. If you've been somebody that's been holding back and you've either been kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna try energy, or you've been somebody that's, I'm gonna force energy, I'm gonna make it happen, fake it till you make it, then I want to invite you into this idea that there's an in-between. And what does the in-between look like? The in-between looks like this ability to go forward just like the force guy. I'm determined. But instead of pushing this way, you see my hand pushing, I receive. As I move towards this woman, the sale, the situation, the, the business I'm dealing with, I receive it into my heart and I feel an emotional reaction. And instead of locking out, okay, I got it. I'm tough. I can handle it. Because that's not really tough, is it? I let it into my heart. And I get an emotional response in my heart. And I breathe into it. And there's a sense of, wow, that's emotionally affecting me. 
but I keep reminding myself I can handle it. I'm gonna receive you fully into my heart, this, say a beautiful woman in front of me, I'm gonna feel you and I'm gonna say, yeah, I can handle it. I can feel your sadness, I can feel your joy, but I'm right here with you. Hi, my heart is on and I can feel you. And that allows her, that allows her to feel you in response, to see who you are on the inside. If I got a wall up and I'm locked out, let's say I'm forcing, she can't feel you. If I'm meek, well, you're not attractive. That's the first part. Second part, and the most important part with definitiveness, is the ability to get into your stomach. As you let somebody into your heart and you start to open your heart, if you feel a little pop of joy, it's often an oxytocin response because humans love connection. And we bubble up with people, like in my workshops, when in the past, when I'd have men and women connecting and a man experiences real connection with a woman for the first time and lets her into his heart, it's like shocking to him. It's like, wow, this is amazing. And the women love it too. Well, the next step is the stomach and you let her into your heart, it has a nice effect, your heart gets light, and you've probably had that before, right? Like when you, unconsciously, like when you could talk for hours with somebody you just met and it just, it just flows because it feels so good, right? That's the heart. Or you see something beautiful and it stuns you, that's the heart. Now the next part is we let the woman in front of you or sales client or whatever, family, relationship, you let that person into your stomach and it goes from this really nice soft energy up here, or wow, that's beautiful, I'm really enjoying that, to it drops down. You feel this weight coming down onto your legs a little bit, and your stomach feels a little more energy here. And you feel the energy from your heart move down to here. And there's a sense of certainty in that. There's a sense of power in that. You begin to feel the weight of your steps on the ground. Now, what I've noticed over the years with guys in workshops is when they're in their head, nobody responds, right? And they, they get rejected a lot. And I'd see this after workshop after workshop. When they get into their heart, women start wanting to talk to them. It's like, hi, my name's Brian. It's, they're sweet, but they're not necessarily sexually attractive. When they start getting down to here to the stomach, there's a certainty and a confidence that comes out of them, this like decisiveness. And I'm gonna explain why in a second. And when they start to feel that energy, women start to respond to them and get attracted, get interested, get intrigued. Why is that? Why is it that women respond more when you get in your stomach? Because the stomach is, is something they call the gut brain. Gut brain is the second brain they often call it. I think of it often as the first brain. It's the instinctual brain. It's the brain that when you set an intention to go out and meet somebody and you let that energy hit your gut, like, like if you let energy hit your heart, you get an emotional response like, like, wow, she's really sweet. I'm really enjoying her. It feels good when you really connect. But when you let energy hit your gut, your gut will say stuff in a definitive way to you, say this to her now. And you won't know why. But as you learn to trust it more and more, because it's being fed by the energy of your heart, first it has to hit your heart, then it's fed by the energy of your heart. It, the gut gets these weird reads. See, the gut brain can process at an insane amount of information. And as the gut gets that information, from the heart, it starts to come up with answers that you can't consciously think of, you don't know why. But then you listen to those answers and you respond and he says, say this or say that, you say it. And she says, oh my God, you know, how did you know that? Or, or yeah, I love that X, Y, and Z or whatever it is. It's because the gut brain has access to so much more information. You see, the subconscious mind is processing at something like 10 million bits of data per second. The conscious mind is processing at seven plus or minus three or around 10 bits of information. And that subconscious part of your mind has so much data information. And when you drop that awareness, that feeling of her or the situation or the client into your gut, the gut can pop ideas up to you, realizations up to you, understanding up to you. That's how powerful the gut brain is. And so I want to invite you into this idea that you can begin to work with this as you begin to let stuff into your gut. This is where definitiveness comes from because when you begin to trust your gut, you'll start to say things with certainty. You won't say, hi, I just wanted to meet you. You'll say, hi, there's something about you. I really wanted to meet you. You'll work the pauses, you'll feel the confidence because the gut will feel confident. And you'll be getting more and more oxytocin responses in your body, like the cuddle love drug response. Yeah, there'll be tension, 
but the tension will start to become more enjoyable. And that's how definitiveness works. It actually builds your confidence. Your heart, the embodiment of your heart, the feeling, the, the, the emotion of the heart, if you meditate on the heart and then meditate on the stomach, together equals definitiveness. And that, to me, is really powerful. Now, if you haven't started the heart walks, definitely start those. We'll put a link down below for our heart walk video because that's powerful. That's learning to feel with the heart. Next, you got to learn to feel with the stomach and you can apply the same principles in the heart walk to the stomach. I can literally walk around and feel everything with my heart, just like in the heart walk video, and then drop that energy, just like a waterfall almost, right down into the stomach. And I can begin to feel in the stomach and say, what does my stomach feel? What's my intuitive hit? The only caveat is your heart has to be open. I talk about that in the heart walk video. Your heart has to be open, has to be feeling. You have to be getting, you can't have a closed heart and try to do this, it doesn't work as well. And then the next piece after that is dropping the energy down into your hips. That's your turn on area, that's your creative energy. That's where you really become a powerful manifester and learn to step into the tension of the world with your turn on and as David Data says, F the world open. <laughs> And, uh, and all these energies work together. They work with your grounding and your back energy. Embodiment makes you 10 times more attractive to the world. It makes you way more interesting and, um, and allows you to live the life of your dreams. So hopefully you're enjoying this video. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of it. Um, I'll definitely put a link to the Heart Walk video in here and definitely check out my previous video if you've got a lot of value out of this one. And definitely, if you want to learn more about this embodiment stuff, um, check out thefearlessman.com for the dating stuff. But for my success stuff, which allows you to live an amazing life traveling the world and to go after your dreams, live a life of passion and turn on, check out truecourage.io. And uh, that's my new website that's going up. There'll be a whole new version of that coming up soon with all new material. Um, and uh, with that said, hopefully you're really enjoying this. Remember, become definitive. That's where confidence is built because only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a beautiful day.